So should should I or should our buyers consider a home inspection on a new build? Yes, for sure. Tell me why. Fred Delgado with the Fred Delgado Real Estate Group. Today we have a very special guest with us. We actually have a home inspector, Nick Bigelow with First Class Home Inspections. Yep. So Nick, great to have you. Yes, so, yes, thank you for having me. Absolutely. And let's start with a couple of questions. So as we go through, we want to make sure that we inform our audience and our clients as to why, why should a buyer get a home inspection? Um, buying a home is a huge investment. You know, the average home anymore is 250000 plus. So you go into a home, you're buying it, you don't know what's there. So as us an inspector, my job is to protect your investment. So going in there, um, yes, there's a cost involved, but a lot of times the cost involved, or what we find, is way less than what the, what the cost of the inspection is. Because, I mean, a water heater is ready to fail. That could be $500, $1,000. That's I mean, correct. I've seen water valve replacements where they're leaking and you got to replace the cartridge. It's 500 bucks to go to a plumber. So, I mean, and then that's just small things. You go to an older home, roofs, um, you know, could be getting your five, ten thousand dollars and nobody knows the condition of their roof. They don't go on their roof. And you know, getting a home inspection is so important. That's one of our clients' biggest mm -hmm. investments. Oh, yeah, so we sure. want to make sure that they don't put themselves at risk and they know exactly what they're exactly buying. Exactly what they're buying. Um, and then, not, you know, and that's, they have better um, decision making. Fantastic. So, what should what should our clients ask when considering hiring a home inspector? So you want to look for an inspector. There's a lot of new inspectors, um, but you want to look for background and experience. Um, you know, how long they've been in the industry, or do they have a background? And say, like for my example, I have a background in construction, so I know a lot okay. about building. So I know how it goes together. I know what it should be. Um, so, and then, uh, like I said, experience. You want to make sure. I mean. I say reviews, but reviews I mean, can mean a lot. I mean, we pride ourselves, um, knock on the world, five stars, and that's why we try to keep it because exactly. customer service to us is key um, to make sure we take care of our clients. But you want to make sure they have experience, one. Um, two, in a background um, that kind of suits it. I mean, because you can, anybody can go study for being a home inspector, but that doesn't mean they have the general knowledge of construction. So they can miss a lot of things. Okay. Um, whereas you have a background and, and you, you kind of know ins and outs and how, how it goes together. Fantastic, nice Nick. So should should I or should our buyers consider a home inspection on a new build? Yes, for sure. Tell me why. Um, because builders are hiring subcontractors and they don't always catch up with them. Okay. Um, for instance, I have a couple of instances on some new builds I've done recently. One, I got up in the attic and I found a broken truss. Well, broken truss is an engineering issue. So that needs to be replaced because structurally it can fail. Okay. Um, or uh, water heater flue going up into the garage water. In, they're usually in the garage and that's part of our fire barrier. So we want to protect the home. Well, if there's a gap up there, then you're not protecting the home from the fire barrier. Okay. I mean, I've seen new builds where the, the laundry room door doesn't close or seal properly. So then you can allow some over carbon dioxide or same thing, fire issues. So um, and builders miss things. Um, they're doing so many builds, so many fast, so fast that they just don't catch everything. Makes and sense. Yes, they get inspected by the city, but again, the city is overwhelmed with the amount of builds in this valley of and that and totally to, makes sense. to keep track of. So uh, my job as an inspector is the same thing. You're buying a home and you want to make sure that it was built correctly. You know, we had a scenario one time when we actually had an inspector inspect our client's home and they had missed a whole section of insulation. Yep, I have found that too. It was an $800,000 house and I thought I was seeing things and I went and I'm like, that's actually a living space. I mean, so <laughs> that a makes huge sense. 20 foot by 20 foot area, mm -hmm. no insulation. That's a huge energy loss. So that's huge. important. The utility bills can be crazy. Very true. So what kind of training do you have, Nick? So one, I have, do have a background in construction. Um, I was a general contractor at one point, so like I said, I have that background. Okay. Um, but as far as when you go to get a home inspector's license, you have to go to, there's different courses. I went through AHIT, which is online. Okay. Um, and then as the state requires, you have to do 30 parallels. You have to go with an inspector for 30 to kind of see how things, make sure that you're not missing things or, you know, because I, 
even me, when I first started out, I didn't know to check for the year of the AC unit. So it's something you got to learn. Right. Um, but we've done, I think I've done over a thousand inspections now. So I mean, wow, uh, we're it's pretty good. We're, we're busy, and you know, we're growing, and that's the way we like. But you know, having that training helps. Um, again, having again the background construction, obviously, kind of think about things a little bit differently. I think than somebody that say the set the desk all the way. They don't really know that stuff. Okay, so let's say one of our clients is doing an inspection. How long should our clients assume that an inspection may take? Now that varies per inspector um, because some companies do basically their report online or right on the site so they might take a little longer just okay. because they're trying to put in all their notes and I'm working on that but at the same okay. point I go in there basically do our inspection so it varies on the size of the square footage. If you're a thousand square foot home, it might only be an hour okay. because there's not that much to inspect. Um, but as far as you go to um, say three or 4,000 square foot home, that's gonna take me three or four hours because I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything. I'll make sure that they go through every system in detail exactly. to make sure that we don't miss anything. Fantastic. So there is just, it's a span. I mean, I've done 6,000 square foot. I give myself five hours, you know, because I wanna make sure that I go through everything and I'm not rushed. Would you let us know up front once we share with you the size of the home approximately how yeah, long the inspection? Yeah, definitely. When we okay. schedule it, use people ask, and that's what I try to say. Okay. Eh, it's gonna be that, and it's gonna depend if you need a pool inspection or a termite inspection as well, because those will obviously take a little extra time. Fantastic. So what is the cost of an inspection? So again, that's one of those variables. Um, so our base rate is 300, and then it can go up to say 6,000 square foot. It's going to be okay. anywhere 900 to 1,000 dollars because you have a lot more to inspect. It takes more time, make more time to put the report together. If it has a pool, there's another time that we got to factor in. So it, it's a variable. It's a state stepping. So it starts at one and then kind of goes up per square footage. Fantastic. Okay, so are you part of a union or an association when it comes to home inspections? So um, I go, I'm part of a, what we call ASHI, which is American Society of Home Inspectors. Okay. Um, so that we follow certain rules and standards um, to make sure that you know we do our job properly and mm -hmm. that we're trying to take care of our client. Very good. So one last question. Yep. Can I come during the home inspection or can our clients come during the home inspection? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, a lot of times they only come with the presentation, but I have no problem with a uh, customer coming there because they want to see that that what's being inspected, what's being done. Okay. The only thing we really ask when you do, if you're going to attend the home inspection, is that you let us do our process because we we have a system, right? And if you try to distract us from that system, we might miss something. Um, like if I'm looking at the AC system and you're like, you see something, and then you're like, oh look, what about this? Hold on, let me get to that. If I don't follow my process, I might miss something, and then I don't want to miss something. I want to show you everything that I can possibly So share. the goal will be to be there once you're done and you can share all of your findings. Yeah, and you can do that, but I, I get it. People want to be there. Sometimes they show up a little early. They want to measure because they're okay. planning for Perfect. furniture and stuff like that, and I have no problem with that. And, okay. and they can follow me around. I'll just ask so just let, you do your let me do my job and make sure that we take care of it. Well, that was easy. Nick, thanks again for joining us here at the Fred no Delgado Real Estate Thank Group. You. So let's share with our audience, how do they get in touch with you if they needed you? Um, so First Class Home Inspections, um, our website is firstclasshomeinspection.com, uh, phone number 623-680-0707, um, and our email would be info at firstclasshomeinspection.com. Fantastic. And if you guys want information as well, we'd be happy to share it with you. Just uh, call us at 602-308-8494 or you can just go to our website, freddelgado.com, and we'll be here to help you. Remember, passion, loyalty, results. Have a great day.